The Helen Summers building was built to house four different state agencies. The building is 225,000 square feet total with office space of close to 140,000 square feet. The project was initiated by the legislature um, to add office space to the Capitol campus and to provide a location for state patrol, for the OFM, for legislative offices, as well as the treasurer's office. The Helen Summers building is a lead platinum building, which puts it in the highest tier of energy efficiency and sustainability from the U.S. Green Building Code Council. The building incorporates a very large array of skylights that brings natural light deep into the building and reduces the amount of energy needed to illuminate the building throughout most of the year. It additionally includes LED lighting, which is highly efficient when it is needed. The building has a solar array that is capable of producing enough energy to power 10% of the building's overall needs. The building incorporates a geothermal well system. Geothermal wells tap into the ambient temperature of the ground below the building to provide a more efficient way to heat and cool the building throughout the year. The building incorporates recycled wood as well as 88% of the materials used throughout the building are sourced here in Washington State. That includes a significant portion of the solar array on the roof. Whereas most of the buildings on Capitol campus use, utilize historic sandstone, we found that that is a fairly high maintenance material. So this building uses a very similar in appearance limestone, which is much more durable and requires less maintenance from year to year. Hydrologic is the newest uh, addition to the state's art collection. It was paid for with a half percent for art from the construction of this beautiful new building, the Helen Summers Building. It was created by artist Beliz Brother of Seattle. She was selected by a seven member panel of uh, tenants and others in the new building who selected her to do this work. By statute, all new construction in Washington State reserves one half of one percent of the construction budget for the purchase of public art. The work celebrates one of our state's greatest natural resources, clean water. The work is broken into ten sections that represent ten of the major watersheds in Washington State. Beliz's artwork is only the third major work of art by a woman on the Capitol campus. The other two include Sea to Sky by Susan Point, which can be seen at the Natural Resources Building about half a block away. And a half a block in the other direction, we have a mural by Jean Corey Beale, which was completed in 1959. It's a mosaic mural in the General Administration Building. The legislature appropriated funding to help move the Beale mural into this building. A space was designed into the building specifically for it. Fundraising is underway to complete the budget for that move, and we hope it will happen this fall.